we know we've heard the governor, we've heard our colleagues across the aisle, and even everyone up here has talked about affordability in the state of New York, and specifically the housing crisis, the lack of affordable housing, not government subsidized housing, but housing that is affordable for people, um, whether you're in New York City looking for an apartment, or whether you live upstate and you're looking to buy that first home. Um, we know that there is, a, there is a real crunch on availability, and of course that has driven up prices and has put, where I live, it has put home ownership further out of reach from a lot of first time would-be homeowners. And the reason I think that is so problematic is in a, in a larger philosophical sense is that when you talk about the American dream, for most people, what is that? I will tell you that is home ownership. That is owning your own home, uh, or at least the possibility of owning your own home. And if that becomes further and further out of reach, that means the American dream becomes further and further out of reach for a new generation of Americans, and that is a bad thing. That means New York State is becoming less affordable, and it's another reason it's another reason, forget employment opportunities, forget you know, keeping more money in your pocket uh, from, uh, from overburdened taxes, forget the weather. That is another issue. If you don't think you can find access to an affordable home, then you're gonna find that elsewhere in other states where it may be more affordable. And uh, uh, the deal that has been put on the table um, addresses new construction, or the, 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 it incentivizes new construction. A uh, 421A extender, obviously there's a negotiation going on between the trades, between, um, between uh, uh, some real estate interests. Um, to my knowledge, that has, not, that has not materialized in an actual agreement, but obviously those negotiations are ongoing. But look, it, there's no question we have to incentivize new construction in, across the state of New York. In New York City, yes. And that's where 421A tax incentives come in to get developers to build the most expensive housing on the most expensive real estate in the world, certainly in the country. In order to do that, you, if you want them to charge below market rate, you have to provide some kind of incentive to make that happen. For a long time we did that, and for a long time we did not have this kind of crisis. That expired, it was allowed to expire, it was attacked as a giveaway to wealthy developers by those on the far left, including some members in the New York State Senate and, of course, the New York State Assembly. Uh, but as a result, those developers also were building apartments and condos and co-ops for people. They were putting a roof over someone's, over someone's head. Um, that 421A needs to happen. That extension needs to happen. We need to incentivize construction in the city of New York. However, the deal that's been put on the table or that's been reported, there's nothing to incentivize new construction in any other part of the state. Upstate, western New York, central New York, the North Country, Long Island, Hudson Valley, nothing. But what is, of course, in there for the whole state is essentially good cause. Um, automatic lease renewals, um, which is essentially tenancy for life. And good cause is nothing more than a direct attack on private property rights in this state. And, and, that, and that, that is the case because some of my colleagues simply do not believe in private property rights. They have actually said uh, that you should not own any home except the one you live in. That is an actual quote from a New York State Senator uh, on the Democratic Conference. This, this is a fundamental divide, um, but it is going to have a a negative impact across the state of New York, certainly where I live and where most of us live and represent, um, you are going to collapse in some cases the, the, uh, the rental market, the rental model. You're gonna have landlords who are gonna sell, small, uh, you know, medium-sized landlords who own you know, 20 units or 10 units or four units. They're gonna sell, they're gonna get out. Who would, who, what bank is gonna wanna continue all these, all these uh, um, values, the loans, are based off of pre, would be based off of pre-good cause uh, uh, eviction. This is going to absolutely have a negative impact on those property values all day long. So they're gonna sell, you know they're gonna sell to? They're gonna sell to out of state and out of country interests. That's what's gonna happen. So you're, you have a leaky faucet, here's a 1-800 number. You have a problem with the toilet, you have a problem with the tenant next door, here's a 1-800 number, call, leave a message, and maybe somebody will get to it. 
Now, maybe people in New York City are used to that, but I can tell you where I live, they are not used to that. Um, and so this deal, this housing deal, does nothing for, for Western New York, for upstate New York, for most of New York. It actually doubles down on the very reasons where, where we are. And what's most disappointing to me is that we have a governor from Western New York. She's supposed to be in that room carrying, carrying the water, carrying the interests of the whole state, not just New York City, not just Mayor Adams. I know he's looking for a friend, and she's definitely been one, but she needs to be carrying the water and, and the interest and in, in standing up for um, homeowners, would-be homeowners, for affordable housing across the state of New York. And she's not doing that. She's, the only discussions in this room are solutions that affect and are generated by New York City. Good Cause is a New York City creation. There is no one outside of that that would have ever come up or this would never gain any real traction. Uh, obviously, 421A is a New York City solution. It specifically impacts New York City housing construction. And again, we should get New York more housing construction in the city. Mayor Adams is right to call for that. But who is standing up for new construction of homes, as well as maybe rental units uh, in, in the rest of the state? This deal does nothing for that, but it does apply, obviously, the good cause provisions uh, automatic lease renewals, tenancy for life provisions um, across the state of New York. And that will be a disaster for affordability and for housing here in the state.